Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I'm sitting here with uh, students from uh, Technical University of Chemnitz. They are studying web engineering which is part of informatics, computer science. This course is so much in demand, not just in Technical University of Chemnitz but across Germany. So uh, if you're someone who's looking forward to studying in Germany, well, this is the right time. Before I talk too much, um, the, these are the students who have just come in Winter Intake 2019. They've just spent like four, five, six months right now here in this country. Things are still fresh for you. Uh, the kind of documents what you submitted, preparations you had to go through, the kind of learnings you had during the process, you know. I'm sure Technical University of Chemnitz was not the only university you applied to. Right, so uh, make sure that you stick till the last. Uh, we'll also talk about what what are the other universities they applied for the same course. That means you're getting more information, not just from TU Chemnitz, but also what are the other colleges for the same course. Why don't you start with your introduction first? Hello, everyone. This is uh, Madhuri Singh. I'm from Kolkata, India. I got 8.23 as my CGPA in uh, my BTEC, which I did in computer science. Uh, I'm reading here web engineering. I got uh, IELTS uh, score as 6.5. I have 3.8 years of ex work experience. I worked for Capture in India Private Limited. Coming to my background, mm -hmm. like I have completed my bachelor's degree in Gurnanak Engineering College from Hyderabad and I have around 80% in my BTEC. Coming to IELTS score, I have 6.0 and I haven't written any GRE as okay. the Technical University of Chemnitz no need of GRE score to be submitted right. for the ex so admission process. Work experience, I have three years as a sales holder. Hello everybody, my name is Sahil Bagga. Basically, I am from Punjab, Rajpura. So I have completed my bachelor in 2019 and with 8.6 CGPA. Immediately after doing my bachelor's, I directly came here in PU Chemnitz and my AL score is seven bands. I did one internship in my last time. One internship? Yeah. Is there any German language requirement to apply for this course? No. 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 Okay. I myself didn't know any German. Anything about German. I came here, I learned here and I'm living for the last six months. Okay. So what I understand from your introduction is all of you have done computer science yeah. yes okay maybe there might be someone who is doing BCA which is again extension of computer science only, yeah. right but their degree is three years your degree was four years. four years do you have someone in your class who has done BCA and then come here yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. there is one girl in our class she did BCA and after like after getting two years of experience she is now doing masters okay. in web engineering so there is someone yeah but she has two years of experience yeah you wanted to add some point? One of my friends is uh, from different branch like electronics but he is also here. Yeah? Yeah. If somebody who is studying in their 8th semester, as we all know, most top universities they have their only one intake which is winter intake which starts in September, October, right? Most colleges have their deadline in May, June during that time. In fact, by then I, I don't think so people already graduate, right? Yeah. Did you graduate when you applied? Or? No, actually I was in my 8th sem when I started applying. I applied in 4 universities. Out of 4, only 2 universities, were, uh, they asked me for the final degree certificate. Otherwise they were okay with it. Yeah, they were okay with that but they told me like you have to submit that when you get or even after coming here, you have to submit that. Got it, got it. Yeah. But then when you applied, did you use your provisional degree then? Yeah. Okay. We okay. have to use that. Uh, Madhuri, maybe you can talk about you know the list of documents what I would need to apply for this particular course. Yeah, first starting with the 10th, 10th mark sheet and passing certificate, 12th mark sheet and passing certificate, all the mark sheets of uh, BTEC, degree certificate, transcript, LOR that is le uh, letter of uh, recommendation from your college, your, if you're working then from your work experience, uh, from their uh, manager or somewhere you can get, statement of purpose that is SOP for each and every colleges, how much you are applying to. If you have work experience, you can uh, even add that. If you have German language, you can add that. But th that was not required for our course. Right, right. Okay. So nearly 11 to 12 documents were there, which I submitted for to UniSS. What about uh, attestation or was this Yeah, we'll make sure that you could have attested all the documents with the public notary. Then you can send them via post. Maybe you can start by saying uh, which all courses and colleges you applied. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, I applied in Padivan University with computer science, TU Chemnitz uh, Web Engineering, Hostel Limit Veda Data Science, and Post Computer Science. Computer Science, Post Science University. Yeah, Post okay. University. You? Yeah, I applied for Technical University of Berlin and uh, Technical University of Chemnitz. In Chemnitz, I applied for Masters in Web Engineering. Whereas in Berlin, I applied for computer science program. 
I applied for KU Cambridge Fab Engineering and University of Koblenz uh, Data Science and University of Rheinwald uh, Computer Science and University of uh, uh, Köln Computer Science. Right now, when you are studying, you are not paying any tuition fees for this. No. no. There is no. no. There is only semester contribution. How much is that? Two sixty-five. Two sixty-five euros for technical yes. university of Cambridge, which includes semester ticket, like traveling for traveling purpose. Uh, oh wow. Okay. Madhuri, maybe you can explain us how is this course structured right now. Okay, the course structure is divided into four semesters. That is mainly two years. Each semester consists of thirty thirty credits. First semester and second semester includes lectures, practicals. Third semester includes uh, our project, and fourth semester is for thesis. Uh, what are the subjects? Maybe you can talk about the subjects yeah, we have. Yeah, like we have around nine subjects, and each subject carries uh, five credits. And we have subjects like design of distributed system, software service engineering, current trends and web engineering, and advanced management data. These four subjects are as a part of first semester, and uh, these are the main subjects of uh, like core web engineering we can say like that and uh, the rest of the subjects like uh, media retrieval uh, and uh, sigma is uh, like strategic it management comes under other department these two are like elective you can choose uh, either these two or you can choose other subjects as well and come in the second semester you will be having like cloud and web applications media encoding and uh, like two seminars will one of uh, two credits and one for three credits and uh, uh, there will be one database project along with that and um, apart from this you can there is a eight credits for language a1 and a2 and 30 credits for plans field project and 30 credits for master thesis so what is the cost of living here in Chemnitz for mm -hmm. a month which includes tell, tell me everything like how much yeah. is for accommodation for food for telephone bill for transportation for anything and everything Okay, it depends uh, person to person yeah, how much you're expecting. I can leave here with uh, two four 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 fifty euros per month. Uh, okay, if you have a student in work accommodation. Yeah, yeah, I have an student in work accommodation here. Okay. Uh, with a single room, yeah, and traveling in, is free here for to you Kevin students. We get a pass uh, card right. with which we can travel whole Saxony state. Okay. So traveling right. doesn't cost anything here. Okay. So we just need to pay our room rent, mm -hmm. our insurance amount, our fooding, and uh, ten or eleven euros for uh, phone uh, mm -hmm. telephone bills. Okay. Okay. I mean, if if you have a contract. And, yeah. Uh, if I have a contract. Okay. Else also we can pay like uh, we use premium sim which is eight euros per month, okay. which gives a good amount of. Uh, Internet, as we everywhere we are having Wi-Fi in college, in host, in student and work everywhere. Is this something of yours also in the same range? Yeah, it's also in the same range, like around four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah. So, uh, like, for me, it's quite like, uh, like if you you know focus on your health and all things. So I think five five hundred euro would be sufficient. Yeah. You are you yeah. a bio eater? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Bio ingredients <laughs> only. <laughs> Yeah, you get from the farm. Huh? <laughs> Are you that kind of a guy? Like, you know, like I know some people who you know drink and smoke. They are also oh, spending yeah. yeah around seven hundred euros per month. So that's that's totally that is extra expenditure. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, so it's, it's a luxury. luxury. Yeah, luxury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are going for shopping and you are shopping for hundred euros a day, that is also expensive. Yeah, yeah, it's totally it's, so right, it's right. fine. Yeah, good. So I think uh, the range is anywhere between four hundred fifty to six hundred euros, depending on uh, how much comfort you want. And uh, so the major chunk of the money which you pay out every month is for accommodation. People uh, who are not part of the student in work, which is the, you know, it's a government body, they give subsidized room. Uh, and if people don't have it, they have something outside, which again can range from 400, 500, mm -hmm. 600 euros. So it is also important with this point, what I'm trying to pinpoint is make sure that you apply for accommodation on time because TU Chemnitz is not one of those universities which is not in demand. There are thousands and thousands of students studying here and everybody needs accommodation. So rush for that. One last message for each one of you before we close the video. What is your suggestion? Uh, what's your point to all those people who are applying for this course? Yeah, I would like to add a point like if a student is in eighth semester, like I suggest like bring some stuff within you. When you entering into the Germany, anywhere in the outside of Asia, 
like you need to prove yourself as i am the person i can capable of doing the things for mm-hmm. what the for company needs so basically build yourself like by mm, working in some it companies and by doing some for projects and internships so what you're saying is you after you, after you have completed your studies work for some time is that what you're saying yeah that's what i'm saying like in not okay. exactly work experience like at i can add some like build technical stuff within you okay yeah. okay like well, make okay. sure your profile will be uh, strong okay okay i mean no. directing with uh, all technical stuff you okay. need was that advice for him <laughs> yeah, yeah he came as a fresh yeah, yeah. okay i do advise for you <laughs> well even for you guys also so uh, yeah what's your advice be independent from the starting so that you can leave here else you'll face lot of problem and uh, yeah in the yeah, starting days you will be facing yeah. like yeah. homesick yeah the homesickness <laughs> is part of the process yeah. don't worry so about it so be strong that. yeah yeah so what's your point technical skills are also important the another thing is that if you're living in your home So it's very important to be mentally strong to come here. That's the main thing. And you you should also learn to cook. <laughs> That, that's also the main thing too. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Good. Uh thank you so much for joining. Um and sorry. Um as as we know now that uh you know things you can do it by yourself. Everything what you heard they are tried and true. Uh they are the real examples. sitting here in germany someone who has had zero experience was studying only in 8th semester while he was studying in 8th semester he applied for course and he successfully got the seat here in in tu chemnitz have a mind of steel okay don't give up uh, apply for as many colleges as possible even though your grades may not be as colorful as these people have uh because i know when you were watching you were like ah this guy had like 86 or oh, this girl has 78 or oh, all of that do not worry there is a place for everybody if you think that your scores are too low apply for german top program invest a bit of your time learn german language till b1 b2 level i think it is doable and there are people who are doing it okay with that being said uh thank you thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye Yeah, bye-bye.